Warning, this channel is meant for viewers 21 plus and was created for educational and documentary purposes only. Beginner Buzz does not condone illegal activity and certainly does not sell anything. So don't even ask. Seriously. How's it growing everyone? Well, we got another batch of living soil brew from mid-season bean drop, but we gotta wait a couple weeks for things to really come to life and start breaking down. That said, there's still work to do for the plants we do have, so get in here because these plants need to eat. And yes, that means it's time to top dress. You know we're trying to make this our full-time jobs, but YouTube is, well, YouTube when it comes to cannabis. Despite this, we continue to find ourselves surrounded by nothing but love and support from this community. If you did want to support the channel a little more, the best way to do that is through our Patreon. With a private Discord, additional in-depth videos, Patreon-exclusive merch and live streams, or even the chance to smoke face-to-face -face with the buds, every tier gets something. The amount of support we've already received has been absolutely mind-blowing, but we wanted to take some time out to show our appreciation for our newest patrons. So, a big shout out and an official thank you to We love you guys, really. All right, let's get back to it. All right, so for those just tuning in, we started our season growing two beans, a Lucky Charms and a Caramel Frappe, both by THC Tone Genetics. Things have been rough for the first bit of this season, but there's a few things to keep in mind. For one, we're just getting our tents back up and running after a few months of the entire grow room being shut down. This means that we had lost all progress in terms of fine tuning. So in the beginning, the lights were on just a touch too strong. And although there wasn't much stress visually, the plants seemed to have been stunted by this. Along with this, they were also stunted by the nutrient ratio in our pots. We had some really good success growing a plant at a rate of four tablespoons of earth dust base per gallon. And wanting to see if the plants would grow even bigger yet with the five tablespoons, we found that this was actually too far. The plants were significantly stunted and whether by the blight or the nutrients, the problem should be fixed as we have been making adjustments all season. For one, we got an extended range EPAR meter by Apogee to really dial in the lights. If you'd like to see how and why we did what we did when it came to adjusting our lights, we'll link that in the description. And last week, we made a new batch of living soil using one, one and a half cubic foot of root soilless cocoa, 25% earthworm castings, and four tablespoons per gallon of earth dust base, which came to three and a quarter cups. So. Things are all set to go when that soil is ready, but for now, we gotta focus on the plants that are growing. We're not going to stress over what happens, just going to roll with the punches and see what we can learn and where we can improve. I mean, that was the whole point, right? To show everything. Well, this is what the learning process looks like sometimes. But as long as you're moving forward, then you're exactly where you should be. As for where our girls are in their life though, it's time for some food. As you guys know at this point, earth dust is an organic dry amendment mix containing millions of microbes and beneficial fungi along with all the organic matter needed to break down and get your plants the nutrients they need. It's mostly slow release with some quick release nutrients in there to be readily available for plant uptake in emergency situations. It's been about five weeks, the Lucky Charms and Caramel Frappe are 34 days old and starting to show the slightest sign that it's finally time to feed. Remember, the newts were too hot, so there was more than needed. 
Along with that, the harsh ratio stunted the plant, meaning it was smaller overall and thus needed less nutrients. More nutrients with a smaller plant means things last a little longer in the pot. So we made it past our intended four weeks, but whatever. Like we said, we aren't sweating it and just seeing where this one takes us. If the plant is telling us it's time to feed, then that's what we're going to do. So it's time for a top dress. I know the plant is smaller, so we went real light on the feed. It doesn't really matter. This isn't a suggested feed rate. But because the plant was smaller, we didn't want to go hard again, so we just went with a half a cup earth dust boost, the typical one cup of earthworm castings, and a teaspoon of Roots Elemental for CalMag. Scratched it into the top inch of the medium and watered all that nutrient and microbe rich goodness down into the root zone below. So the process starts all over again. For the past five weeks, except for the occasional kale mag every two weeks, the only thing we've given these girls is water. Microbes have grown, reproduced, and formed their own colonies. There's a life cycle, and the food they're eating is all the organic matter in the earth dust. That and the earthworm castings. There's only so much food though, and if you use too much, your plants will let you know by either, well, being stunted or burning. Before long, that microbe colony has eaten most of the food with the plant uptaking those newts through the roots. With nothing left to eat, your microbe colony starts to die. Top dress refreshes everything. It sends in a flood of new microbes ready to eat, breed, and grow the colony strong again, along with all the food that they need to eat to stay strong and keep your plant happy. Once that's done, it's back to water only. Simple. Loving the organics, guys. For real. We are done with the footage this week, but check in next week as we're set to plant the two new beans as the soil should be ready. Even better yet, hopefully our organic cow mag by Homegrown Bukashi will be here by then, making things even better. We'll see. Until then, make sure you're following us along on Instagram. We recently held our five days of giveaways that drew in over 1,500 entries. We sent someone a press this week with the help of Easy Auto Flowers great guy go follow him you won't regret it a light we sent someone else we are exhausted and at the time of this writing the five giveaways that we're hosting alongside of all that aren't even over yet more work to do but this is what it's all about giving back to the community that supports us so much thank you guys Come hang out during our Positivity Lives every Friday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you know we'll be back next week with another episode. Until then, keep learning, keep growing. Catch, Catch you later, later guys. guys.